Do you know your medicine? Weed Maps and SC Laboratories bring you an educational series on the science of clean and safe cannabis. Today's cannabinoid profile is on Tetrahydrocannabivarin. THCV or tetrahydrocannabivarin is another cannabinoid found in the cannabis plant and it appears to have an interesting reaction with the CB1 receptor. At low doses, it blocks the receptor, and at higher doses, it binds to the receptor. And what they found in uh, lab studies uh, with mice is that when it blocks, it causes weight loss and decreased body fat and increased energy expenditure in these mice. So it appears to have the opposite effect of THC at these low doses. It's very similar to THC except for a few minor chemical constituents, but it actually starts from a whole different process than the tetrahydrocannabinol that we're used to or THC that we're used to. Most of the cannabinoids that we've all heard of, THC, CBD, CBC, start from a combination of geraniol, pyrophosphate, and olive tolic acid, whereas THCV, we're starting with diverinolic acid. And the only difference really is the diverinolic acid has two less carbons than the olive tolic acid. So it's, it, it's different in that sense that one of the two starting materials is slightly different. THCV is found in a lot of African land raised plants. Some of them have fairly high amounts of THCV. It's also psychoactive, similar to THC. Uh, the effects are described slightly different as more of a psychedelic high. The two compounds combine through an enzymatic process to form cannabigerovarin acid or CBGVA. CBGVA synthesizes to THCVA through an enzymatic process using the THCVA synthase enzyme. So THCVA is, is very similar to THCV except for it has this carboxylic acid group attached to it and now with heat or over time this carboxylic acid will release from the molecule and then you'll have THCV. As I said it's very similar to THC if you did this you would have THC. THCV has also been found to be again in lab studies with mice to have some anti-convulsant properties in that it appears to lower the seizure threshold for these mice. Uh, there's not very many studies on THCV and I do know that it's being studied in many labs right now. Certainly it holds some medicinal benefits and it would be great to have more studies so that we could really know what its properties are. We feel the minor cannabinoids are very important to patients and we're looking to, to get patients as much information as possible so they can make the most informed decisions possible. So they will be coming very soon from SC Labs.